Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be cleaning and decluttering this room. I don't even know what to call this room. It was, well, it is my office. It used to be a craft room. I haven't crafted in probably about 10 years, so I don't know why I ever gave it that name. It's mostly an office space. It's kind of the catch-all room. I think we all have a catch-all room, don't we? So I'm gonna walk you through kind of the mistakes that I made and some things that I learned along the way of decluttering this room and just help guide you through your own uh, room if you have one like this or maybe a similar space. So that means in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top five decluttering tips that I either already knew or that I learned along the way. So let's do this. So just to be totally transparent with you guys, I probably walked around the room kind of in like a daze for a little bit. Like there's a few places I think in these clips where I just look confused, like I don't know what I'm doing. And honestly, I am, I'm like thinking. One thing I did find out about myself is I'm a chronic overthinker. Like I think about things before I get rid of them way too hard and way too much. So my very first tip that I learned was called the 2020 rule. I had never heard of this before. In all my years of like decluttering and cleaning and stuff, I'd never heard of this. And it really helped me. I like to think this way. So the rule is or the guideline if you, you know, in helping you make a decision, you don't have to follow it like 100%, but it does help. So it's called the 2020 rule and basically what it states is that if you can't if you can replace something that's under $20, you can go ahead and let it go. And if you can replace an item within 20 minutes, you can also let it go. So that, for some reason, like a couple of things I'd had that were like maybe $2, $3, I had been hanging on to. And I was like, why am I hanging on to this? Like there's really no reason. So there's that. So also wanted to mention too that we had painted my daughter's room. So a lot of her things ended up in here. So a lot of this stuff is we're going through it and she's deciding if she wants to put it back in her room or if we're decluttering it. Some of this stuff is mine. Like these bins here were actually in her room, that, but they were mine and I needed to go through them. But essentially what I'm doing is I'm just working in sections in the room just picking a space and working in that space only. I feel like it was like maybe a six by six space in each part, you know, like I divided the room into sections, which you'll see here in a minute. So my second tip and something I think that might have really helped me out and I didn't think of it until I watched these clips back is I wish I had taken pictures of the space before I decided like I was finished with it 
Because when I look back at my desk, I'm like, you know, the visual clutter, for me, visual clutter, I don't like it. I like want to try to minimize as much as possible. And I have a lot of fragrance warmers, as you guys can see. I think I had like four on my desk. Honestly, when I looked back at the footage, I was like, gosh, I wish I had taken out a few more of those warmers and just really minimize the space. So if you can, take a picture of your space and really look at it through like a different set of eyes like I feel like when you take a picture you see it through a different lens if that makes sense and you can kind of help yourself decide you know what do I want to get rid of what looks aesthetically pleasing that kind of thing So along this process, I was finding that a lot of things that I had in here just didn't have a home. So like I kept picking things up and then setting them back down because I realized I just didn't have a place for them. So my third tip would be is to pick things up once. Like you see, I just picked up that uh, essential oil diffuser and I picked it up and I set it right back down. The storage magazine, you'll see me pick up at least two or three times. I just threw it on the floor. I'll pick it up again later. I saw it in the clips. <laughs> so it's just like, if you can try to touch things only one time, it'll save you time. I kind of inventoried the room like before I started this project. So if you can kind of go in the room and just look around and see what you have, just take like a mental note and be like, okay, where are these things going to go? Just kind of in your head. Um, that would have probably helped me a little bit as well. And here's that storage magazine again that gets tossed aside once again. And I think that storage magazine, I want to say is from like, it's probably from like 2008, 2010-ish possibly. It's super old. I've never even looked through it. I don't know why I continue to hang on to it. Um, I can't remember what I did with it actually. I don't know if it got trashed or donated. I'm not sure, but... <laughs> I keep thinking, oh, I'm going to look at it. I'm going to look at it. I never look at it. So, um, yeah. Also, oh, the other thing I was going to add to is that, so we were moving out, or I was moving things out of the room, like that bookshelf that you saw, I was moving out, and that uh, brown table I had had for quite a while. My husband and I actually built that. And I just, I felt like it was cluttering up the room. So it was time for them to go. And then I'm just vacuuming under the spaces where they were. So 
So I had not washed this wall for a long time because that table was in front of it. So I just took some hot water and probably about a quarter of a teaspoon to half a teaspoon of Tide, powdered Tide. If you've never smelled powdered Tide in hot water, it just smells so good. I love using that as a cleaning tool. And just as a quick reminder, not all painted walls are created equal. So always test a small spot before you go in with any cleaning solution and water. I feel like when we repainted our walls, we used a higher quality paint and I feel like it holds up to washing with different cleaning agents and whatnot, but you still wanna be careful. Okay, so the vacuum is obviously in the way, but I'm trying to decide if I want that table there or if I want it over in that corner. I feel like it looks okay right there with the pictures on the wall, like it's kind of center. And I really just am trying to, like I don't want a lot of stuff in this room. This over here is probably the next thing I'm gonna work on. And I just wanna show you guys really fast that things get worse before they get better. Um, just part of it. So this side of the room, <laughs> I've obviously moved a lot of things. There are some things that still, like I have a shoe rack back there and I don't love that. I think I might get an over the door shoe rack. I just don't like it on the floor. So I'm debating. Ugh, I just bought that too. Like, I don't know, three months ago. So I'm just like, I don't know. I might find a different place for it. I'm not sure. So I'm going to paint that chair. Uh, it goes in the kitchen. It, I have my daughter's old computer chair there now that, that's black and it matches. So, and then just have this, I need to pick up off the floor and just kind of this, but this is kind of like the main thing right here that I need to go through that I really want to be kind of ruthless and what I pull out and discard. So let's go ahead and jump into this. So another thing here that I did not do until I was about maybe like a third of the way through, I didn't have my bags and my boxes set up. So always have like your trash bag, your recycle bag, things you're gonna donate. And then also you can have like a maybe pile. You know, like I feel like this is a whole process because since I've done this room, I've actually come back and still like deleted things. Well, not, you know, you know what I mean? Not delete them, but take them out and got rid of more things. You know, it's just, if you start, then you can kind of see like where you're at, 
you can kind of gauge like what you have. And the other thing is too, is like, I keep looking at these scrapbooking things. Um, it was a little bit earlier in the clip, but I haven't scrapbooked in like 10 years. Why, why am I struggling with that? Um, I don't plan on scrapbooking anytime soon. So I don't know why I was like sitting there staring. So I, I did end up keeping that pink um, scrapbook there that you see I'm touching it again. Like that's like the fourth time and I'm still like, hmm. <laughs> So another thing I wanted to add really quick is when you're out shopping and you're looking at something and you're thinking, oh, this is super cute. I want to buy it. Try to think in your head. Someone taught me this somewhere along the way. Try to look at it and think to yourself, when is this going to end up in my Goodwill bin? Like, when is this going to end up at Goodwill? Like, look at it from a different perspective. Like, how long do I think I'm going to keep this thing? Because like, I think of the Target dollar spot or sometimes the Dollar Tree and I think it's easy to pick things up there because they're inexpensive, but then in the long run, like how long are you actually going to keep that? So that's kind of helped me. Like I, I put more things down now because I think, oh, that'll be in Goodwill in like a year or two, you know, it's not worth it. So, you know, really try to um, think about your purchases and honestly, I know this is like easier said than done, but just try not to like shop just to go shop. You know, I feel like that's where a lot of clutter problems come in and I'm super guilty of that. It's definitely a hard habit to break, but one that I think when you start decluttering and doing this process, you start to see like, oh my gosh, like I'm donating all these things I paid good money for. So you don't want to have that urge to go out and spend money because you know you just like donated you know two hundred dollars worth of stuff so hopefully that makes sense
So these two bins that I'm going through here are all of my Lush products. I have way too many Lush products. I kind of made a thing with myself, a, a thing, <laughs> a deal with myself that I wasn't going to buy any more bath bombs. I was only going to buy things that I used on the regular, which was shower gels. And I wasn't going to have any more than like three at a time, two or three at a time. You can always buy more shower gel. It's not a big deal. So bath bombs do have an expiration date. So yeah, I don't buy those anymore. Not even like the special edition because it's just, I'm at that point in my life where it's just, it's not something I do anymore. I don't want to do it. So here I am. I'm just trying to sort the things on the floor that I had kind of pulled out. Okay, you guys, did you just see that? I literally just took that storage magazine again, looked at it, and tossed it aside. Where is that storage magazine? I need to see if I kept it now because I honestly don't remember. But I've picked it up. What is that, my fourth time? This is what I'm talking about. Like, I have, I think I'm a, I'm a chronic overthinker. <laughs> like, I think that magazine is going to be the death of me. Like it's going to die in this room, I feel like. So this green box, this is the second or third time I'm looking at it. I'm, I think, yeah, that's my donation bag. So I did decide to go ahead and pass it on to someone else. There's really nothing wrong with it, but I had bought it from the container store. I think it was the Risenthal line or something. It was kind of an expensive box. Uh, so I think that's why I hesitated if I ever want a box like that again, it was under $20. I could probably go to Container Store. They probably have something newer and maybe better. Or I could find something replaceable somewhere else for cheaper. So I just needed to let it go. So another tip I wanted to add here, and I did not follow this myself, but looking through this footage, I'm like, okay, I can go back and definitely donate that item. But if you've had something for longer than a year or two, and you just know that it's not going to get used, 
Like you really have to be ruthless with yourself and sometimes bringing in help. Like I had my daughter helping me like move things and a lot of stuff was hers. So I was having her take it out. But a lot of times, sometimes just call in someone else and be like, do I need to keep this? I've had it for longer than a year. I'm probably not going to use it. Um, yeah, you just, you really have to like be firm with yourself. Otherwise, you're going to be like me and you're going to keep going through things year after year. And you're going to be like, why did I keep this? Okay, so I did kind of cheat here. If you see this blue bin, this is all of my paperwork. So I knew I wasn't going to deal with that today because I just, it's a lot to go through. I, if you guys have paperwork, I think anyone can kind of relate with me on that. I need to sort it out. I've kind of figured out in my head how I'm going to sort it. Um, if you want me to include it in like a future video, I certainly can. I just didn't, I knew I wasn't going to go through it that day. So this is our final donation pile. It's not a lot, but I also threw a lot of things away, which I don't like to do typically, but I feel like if Goodwill doesn't want it, then nobody wants it, you know? So also I wanted to take just a minute. If you are new here, I wanted to say hi and welcome. I am just getting my channel started. So I'm still working on angles and whatnot. So I know my angles aren't the best. Sometimes my lighting's not quite right. I'm still trying to figure all that out. So if you would consider subscribing and becoming part of my small little YouTube family here, I would love that. Um, I plan on uploading once a week, uh, possibly more at some point, but right now once a week is working for me. So I'm just finishing up by doing a quick vacuum and I did slow down some of the vacuuming parts here just because I don't know I was sometimes when I watch other people's videos I like to watch the vacuuming. <laughs> I don't know why but I don't like it to go so fast so I did slow it down just a little bit. But I did want to say I will include all of my tips in the down bar below right at the top so you can find them easy and refer back to them if you are starting a project like this but most of all just be patient with yourself and it is a process you know if you can't complete it in you know say 30 minutes to an hour don't beat yourself up you know it, you can always come back to it um, you can sit and think on things for a little while just keep at it is the most important thing and you'll reach your your end goal so yeah, I just wanted to give that little bit of encouragement because I know like I was getting frustrated in here myself and I just kept thinking, okay, how much longer is this going to take? But having started it now, I know I can go back in and, you know, 
edit some things. Um, like I said before, delete some things, some, you know, get rid of some more things. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope you guys are having a good week. Mm -hmm.